I'm going to show you how to remove or uninstall the S antivirus. So I'm talking about that one. So the actual creator they claims this one uh, does scan your machine and find out all the unwanted threats and viruses. Okay, but many security research says what happens is once you install this program, it's very difficult to remove it. So this is a kind of potential unwanted program from the security researchers. So let's show you what is the trick is. As you can see the word in right here, that's the one. Segarjo or whatever it is. And in the control panel, the name is completely different. So let's show you which one it is. If you go to control panel and then uninstall a program and from here if you go to the bottom line you can see s antivirus real-time protection light so that's the one so today we're gonna remove it and uninstall it completely from the computer okay we'll make sure there is nothing left over okay so what i do to remove this sort of program i never go to control panel and then go to programs uninstall your program okay which one i choose i always choose iobit uninstaller so this is uh, free of cost uh, you can just install it and with the free version you can able to remove this sort of nasty program from your system so what you need to do go to all program and then search for S antivirus okay that's the one so click here and go to uninstall from here you can see two things automatically automatically remove this ideal files okay so make sure you select it and click on uninstall and now as you can see that you still have an active subscription no remove the protection i don't need it so make sure you click here okay and because of the process is going on by the uninstaller so we're not going to restart it now because if you do it middle of the way is going to left out a lot of uh, small pieces of program okay so i'm going to choose restart later so that this one can continue removing and shredding all the bits and pieces of this program but normally what happened when you go from the control panel it doesn't remove everything sometimes if you go to the actual c drive and you know program files then still you would be able to see some kinds of folders okay empty shells and stuff like that so that's the one i like personally you can try it and only i install iob it on installer when i need it and then later on i remove it otherwise sometimes they do pop up a lot of notification in here about their promotion and stuff like that so that is also kind of annoying so i only install when i need it and after i done my job i make sure uninstall it so in that way i keep my pc clean okay so this one going to be 100 percent Okay, sometimes what happens is there is one more permission might be behind the screen is asking. Okay, that's why it takes so long. So make sure while it happened like that, as you can see, this is only spinning and it doesn't get filled up until 100%. So in that point, you must need to check out in the task, you know, uh, taskbar if there is any notification or any icon from that um, 
nasty program that you want to remove it i can't see any of them so which is absolutely fine give it a try and let's see what happened okay so as you can see deleting leftovers okay from the registry file lot of them how many files we can see and as you can see it's going on so this is i believe one of the best program for removing any unwanted programs and stuff like that okay so as you can see this is deleting from the program files um, x86 digital communicators and then s antivirus all the cache and everything so you're gonna wait until it goes it to 100 percent and then the job will be done So that's already clean everything is fine as you can see the 108 MB useless files okay seven useless registry entries and two invalid system services okay so that's what it done so now what you can do you can restart it it's so simple let's go to the control panel and find out if it is still there no it's not as you can see this is completely gone okay for best performance if you want you can restart it so thank you so much for watching still if you do have any question make sure you leave it in the comment section and i hope i will see you in the next video bye for now thank you